Hey guys, sorry I'm looking a little rough. I'm doing a million things. Um, I'm doing workout videos, which I just finished doing. So of course my hair is not done. I'm sweated out. Tacky shirt, of course. Um, in the background you see a lot of things going on on my counter. I am preparing for a barbecue. I just finished seasoning up some chicken and some um, steak and some ribs. So I was actually doing a video as, as I was doing everything and I don't know, my computer just shut off, video gone. So here I am again. And it's good because I was talking a lot as I'm starting to do now. I just want to show you how to do some makeup, some simple makeup. A lot of videos I see, they're piling on 10 pounds of makeup, which is fine. I mean, whatever rocks your boat, as long as you look fierce, I'm not mad at you. But it doesn't work for me. As you can see, I have breakouts and marks on my face from putting on makeup. And I just, you know, I, I'm against foundation now. Because it doesn't matter what kind of foundation I use. It just does not work for me. But I want to show you how to do an everyday look. Because to show you how to do a dramatic look, it's, it's just not, okay, copy me and do it. It's something you have to actually practice. So, let's put some practice in just looking natural. This is if you just want to cover problem areas and make your freaking skin pop. I also want to, you know, point out some other problems. Um, so, I do have eczema. So, you'll notice that I have... <laughs> I shouldn't make those faces. But you notice that I have um, darkness around my mouth. Now, it has nothing to do with my mustache. <laughs> uh, that's the mustache. But here, <laughs> I have the eczema problems. Um, and for you ladies, if you have mustache problems, go bleach it. Period. Um, <laughs> bleach or wax is never that serious. You leave it there and you're happy with it. But if you have the... The mustache and the eczema around your mouth, you look like you have the whole goatee thing and it makes you upset, right? I know. You don't, the worst thing to do is put makeup over it because it's just going to make the eczema get darker and darker and darker and darker. So what I do is, I pay it no freaking attention. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Sometimes it does, but literally you just have to do your regimen. Putting makeup over eczema is not going to help at all. So right now... It's bad, but it's not that bad. It doesn't give me that real, real bad look. Um, I would say put a lot of um, Vaseline, if you must, if you must. Vaseline and then a powder, um, a powder foundation over it if you have to have that coverage. Me right now, it, my skin does get darker than this, but right now I'm just going to say forget it. So... Here I have my concealer, which is NW45 and C50. Um, I have MAC Makeup NW45. If you look at my skin, I also want to tell you guys about this. A lot of videos, they just pull out makeup. They don't give you really enough information. So, if you look at my skin, um, camp, you know camera's kind of bad, but I can I can see it here. You see that this is dark, then it's light. You can see the line or you can see the transition. Light, dark. Light, I mean light, dark. It's dark right here, then it gets light right here, and then it goes dark. I have um, my own contour. <laughs> God just, you know, put his brush on me real quick. I don't have the contour, but I still do. <laughs> but I have a dark spot right here, and it's dark right here. But I just want you to realize the different colors on my face. Now, you know, look at the colors on your face and see if you have mismatched match colors. Now, what you want to focus on is here. This is what you want to focus on. If you focus on the outer, you may mess up. Because the outer, you can always contour meaning it's going to be a, a shade darker the middle is your highlight you want to highlight your t-zones right so when you're putting on makeup when you don't want to do any of that highlight contour anything what color are you going to go with are you going to go with this color 
this color. <laughs> this, what color are you going to go with? I must tell you, go with the color closest to your eye. Of course, this color here just shows tiredness. But then this color is your skin color. I guarantee you, if I go with the color that's down here, which is my darker color, and I cover my whole face, I will look ridiculous. Now, what happens is, when you go to these makeup stores, what do they do? They test it. They're like, okay, we got to match your skin. And then they go right here to match your skin. Meanwhile, the brightest, some people, if you're like me, the brightest part of your face is in the middle of your face. So now if I take this dark color and go over, I'm going to look crazy. Under the eye. Under the eye. I know this is dry. I don't know about you guys. You find your dry spots. You put your primer. And primer is mainly where you're going to apply your makeup.